What's up achievers, it's Jason Pack and today I'm gonna to go over six hacks that you can use at the gym to make your life just a little bit easier. And I'll try to do it in under three minutes. So let's put three minutes on the clock and let's begin. All right, so the first two hacks require the use of a five pound plate. If you're anything like me, the toughest part of any single workout is gonna be unloading and loading the plates on and off the barbell. And a simple trick that you can use is to grab that five pound plate and slide it underneath the very first plate. And from there, that just gives you just enough clearance, just enough space for you to work with to easily slide on and off plates off of the barbell. All right, so the second hack using a five pound plate is to slide five pound plates directly underneath your heels to improve the depth of your squat. And now there might be a whole host of reasons of why your squat depth might be limited, whether it's ankle mobility issues or hip mobility issues or stability issues or anything like that. And you can continue to still work on those issues while also having a simple fix for you to still work on your squat pattern while you're actively trying to improve it. All right, so speaking of sliding plates directly underneath your heels, hack number three Three involves the use of everyone's favorite exercise, the bench press. So a key component to having a strong bench press is the ability to push into the ground with your feet and use leg drive. This can be really difficult if the benches at your gym are just a little bit too tall or maybe your legs are a little bit more on the shorter side. Either way, one fix that you can use is to slide 25 to 45 pound bumper plates directly underneath your heels. So that gives you a sturdy platform to push off of and it allows you to use better leg drive. All right, so continuing on with the theme of the bench press, hack number four involves the use of the bench press along with the super band. All right, so another key component to having a strong bench press is to be able to push back into the bench while you're pressing up on the bar. And that can be really difficult if you have one of those moisture wicking shirts that are super slippery. What you can do in this instance is to grab a super band and wrap it around one edge of the bench. And then from there, stretch it out so that it gets to the other side of the bench. And this should make it so that regardless of whatever shirt you're wearing, you should be able to push back into the bench and have the traction to not slide. All right, so hack number five involves front squatting and the use of wrist straps. Right, so the foundation for a strong front squat is being able to get into this optimal front rack position, which means that you need to have a lot of wrist, elbow, lat, thoracic spine mobility. And if you're lacking any one of those, more than likely throughout the front squat, you're probably gonna start to drop your elbows down and it's not a really an optimal position to be in. And again, just like sliding plates underneath your heels, one way you can address this quickly is to grab wrist straps and wrap it around the bar. And then from there, tighten the straps and grab as close to the bar as possible. So you don't wanna be at the ends. From there, lift the straps up to the ceiling and then start your normal front squatting process. And again, you wanna make sure that you're still working on whatever issues that you might have, be it your elbow, your wrist, your thoracic spine, that might be limiting it in the first place, but these wrist straps can be a simple fix in the meantime. And finally, hack number six involves a cable machine and small plates. So we like to use a cable machine at our gym for smaller, more accessory movements. So like a face pull or maybe a cable external rotation. And a lot of times at gyms, these cable machines have too big of a weight jump. They have like 10 pound weight jumps and they're usually too big for a smaller, more accessory movement, like an external rotation. In this case, when you get to a point where the weight it becomes too light, but jumping up becomes a little bit too difficult, what you wanna to try to do is grab a 1.25 or a 2.5 or even a five pound plate. And from there, you wanna get that plate and push it directly against the weight stack. And then from there, grab the pin and put it in the hole of both the plate itself as well as the weight stack. And this allows you to use more of an appropriate weight jump. All right, so there you have it. Those are six hacks that you can use at the gym. If you like this video, please hit that little thumbs up icon below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, peace, love, and muscles.